Ken, thank you. We tend to think of service dogs as being Labradors, Golden Retrievers, certainly some of the larger breeds, but Patty Spittler from Pet Pals TV brings us a story shattering those stereotypes. You're about to meet a very, very small service dog. His name is Cirrus, and he's proving love and help. Come in all sizes. Out here in the park, it's a beautiful day. We have a beautiful lady with her gorgeous dog, and Mary has a service dog who's a chihuahua. I have never seen a service dog as a chihuahua. Wonderful. I always say they're all the same up here. It's just the size that's different. Mary, tell us about Cirrus, your dog. What, what does she do for you? Um, well, I have a couple of different disabilities that I struggle with. Um, I struggle with very chronic, severe pain um, in my back and my neck. And I take Cirrus with me just about everywhere. And he keeps me steady when I start to feel uh, nauseous or tired. Um, I've also um, suffer from really severe depression, really severe anxiety that I deal with um, because of being abused my whole life. Okay. And well, I, we all know how an animal can bring you out of depression, just touching or holding mm -hmm. your yeah, blood pressure. Good. He's your family? He and my husband are my family. Oh, so. I love that. Okay, but Cirrus is trained to do some things, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. What, um, what does he do? Um, he does all the ordinary things, the sit, the down, heel, walk at my side. Um, he does retrieval. The man responsible for coaching Cirrus, the service dog, is the founder of the group Indiana Working Dogs, trainer Greg Holland. Greg's easy to spot, often with Camille, the wonder dog, who demonstrates all the wonderful things a canine companion can do for and with a human. Cue Greg, Greg Holland, Indiana Working Dogs. You're the man who saw potential in this little dog when all the other trainers said, eh, I, I can't do anything with him. Tell us about that. Well, when she arrived with me, Cirrus was timid. Um, he knew some of his obedience. She had done a lot of good work with him already. They're dogs that are been trained to specifically do tasks for their owner to mitigate their disability. Okay. And that can range from everything from just doing some retrieval, picking up dropped objects, right. to bracing somebody if they're unbalanced, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And to guiding the blind, keeping them away from the street, right. keeping them from walking into telephone poles, mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. um, a service dog completes a, um, a, an action for a person that they can no longer do or they can't do. So it completes something for a human. Wonderful. And you never met a dog you couldn't fix or, or tr train. Any healthy dog. And so for Greg Holland and Mary Edmonds and Cirrus, the service dog, we thank you very much. We hope you have a pleasant day. And don't forget, any dog is a working dog. A working dog. Again, that was Patty Spittler reporting. You can watch much, um, many more stories, excuse me, uh, like this one every Saturday morning on Pet Pals TV on 10, at 1030 on our sister station, MyIndyTV23, and online at PetPalsTV.com. Time now is 752.